Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we took on the Pokemon Mansion. We got this secret key, which is actually used to open um, this uh, s this gym, the Cinnabon gym, because it was locked above us. Let's go inside. Let's talk to the Ice Giver. Yo, champion making. The hot headed uh, Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro. Douse his spirits with water. You better take some burn heals. Well, actually, I have some full heals, which will do just the same, which will be, do just fine. We have 10 full heals. That's good. So that's, yeah, except my own Pokemon Gym, later Blaine, winning trainer, Sean, of course. Sean beat this gym before us. No surprise there. So, uh, the way you can do this is you can talk to the trainer right there and battle them, and after you've beat them, they'll, this gate will open up. Or, yeah, or you can just quiz yourself, and then if you get it right, you move on. If you get it wrong, you have to develop the trainer. Pokemon quiz. So this is the first question. Get, get it right, and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong, and face the trainer blocking the way. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then you better get it right. Here we go. Oh, we can go back to the Pokemon Center several times. Okay, whatever. Yeah, but this that's the festival. Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. Um, Caterpie evolves into Metapod, then Metapod evolves into Butterfree. So Caterpie evolves into Butterfree? No. Bad call. Wait, what? Well, I guess eventually it evolves into Butterfree. That's what you're meaning. In that case, I would have said yes. That first question always messes me up. Because, like, it says, like, like the first time I played this, I was like, oh, it was, it's something like Caterpie evolves three times, doesn't it? No, Caterpie evolves twice. Once into Metapod, again into Butterfree. That, the first question always trips me up for some reason when it's just Caterpie and related it i i can't win i just fail at that one okay whatever i was a thief but i became straight as a trainer okay cool so it's a battle him anyway but i was gonna battle all the trainers anyway so it's okay but i can't but i got the question wrong again jeez whatever let's just fade let's just take on this burglar guy let's go for the body slam on this growl growlith and when he kills it awesome nice we'll take it He's a Vulpix. Okay, we'll switch. Uh, no, we won't switch actually. Just another Body Slam on this Vulpix. Body Slam. So, yeah, this Vulpix is level 36. It goes down one hit because the critical. Possibly because the critical hit. Nice. I'll take it. And you have a Nine Tails. Okay. We will go with. Uh, what's, how much does the Sizing Toss do? This Nine Tails is level 36, by the way. Let's see how much this does. Just about half. Okay. I'm gonna probably go with the body swim then, you know? To finish it off, hopefully. There we go, nice. Steven defeated Burglar. We defeated Burglar, nice. I surrender. <laughs> Thanks for the 3,240 Poké Dollars. Let's hope I get the next question right. <laughs> okay, so the. Oh, wait, the. Okay, we can just battle the next person, apparently. Okay, cool. Oh uh, yeah, do you know what how pot Pokemon Fire breath breath can get? Um, seventy degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know. Here's a super nerd. Okay, they have a uh, three Pokemon of Vulpix. Nice it's level thirty six. Cool. Let's go for the body slam. Yeah, one of kids that awesome. Nice, I'll take it. And another Vulpix you have. Okay, see, probably have two Vulpix and an Until. It's just guessing. This Vulpix is also level 36. So he has Quick Attack on Grumpy to do a little damage on Grumpy, of course. Because it can't, it can't accept the fact that it's going to faint the, by the next turn. By the end of the next turn or whatever, the current turn. Yeah, Ninetales. So there's like two Vulpix and a Ninetales. So again, we'll go for the Sesame Toss and then a Bolt, not Bolt Seed, but a Body Slam. Nice. It should do about half. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let's go for the bias limb now. There we go. Awesome. Critical, I'll take it. We defeat Super Nerd, yay. Yeah, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Thanks for that 100 book dollars. Okay, let's see. It's this one, right? Okay, the left one. Okay, Pokemon Quiz, Sister Skill. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. Uh, n no, there are eight. Cool, I got that one right. Okay, cool. Absolutely correct. Going through. But I want to take on the trainer. <laughs> you can't win. I've studied. I have a save Pokemon totally. Okay, you must be another super nerd. <laughs> yeah, I was right. Cool. And super nerd has four Pokemon. Ponyta, nice. Level 34. 
Let's go for the body swim on this thing. There we go, nice. Charmander, nice. We'll stick with Grumpy again. And use another body slam. Grumpy go level 49, awesome. So these full picks. Okay, we'll switch to Pokemon, yes. We'll switch to Tabasco, I guess. Let's go for the slash attack. Nice, okay. Cool to quit, I'll take it. And there's one Pokemon to grow with, okay, cool. Let's go for the slash attack. There you go, code code, I'll take it. Awesome. We defeated Super Nerd, awesome. Wow, my study is sorry. Thanks for 850 pocket dollars. Okay, so let's switch Pokemon actually to uh, Tabasco and then Grumpy and, Tab Grumpy and Brew we can switch. Yeah, all my, the majority of my Pokemon level 49, but two of my Pokemon still level 48. Cool. Okay, so Pokemon Quest Texture Skill. Polywag evolves three times. Polywag evolves once into a. Uh, Poiwill, and then again into Poiwill, so only two times. So Poiwill evolves three times? No. Cool. You're absolutely correct. You go on through. Nice. Okay, what's about the trainer though? I just like using fire Pokemon. Of course you do. Of course you do. He's gonna let Bird go, okay? He has one Pokemon. It's a Ponyta. So 41, okay. Does Ponyta evolve into at level 41 or 40? I think it's like level 40 instead of 42. So I think it's, so that should be a Rapidash, but who am I to blame? Who am I to say, oh, you have to evolve your Pokemon. That'd be kind of mean if I told people, you have to evolve your Pokemon no matter what. <laughs> yeah. We do feel pretty good. Awesome. We just use one slash. Too hot to handle. Nice. Thanks for $3,690. Poke dollars. Uh, here's another machine quiz, of course, yeah. Okay, Pokemon quiz. Test your skill. Are oh, Thunder Moves effective against Grunt Element Pokemon? Ty element type Pokemon? No. They are not. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. Although, I want to battle the trainer. Yeah, I know that White Blaine became a trainer. Are you going to tell me if I beat you, if I talk to you again after the battle? Hopefully you do. Please, 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 please. Okay, so there's a Super Nerd. She has one, uh, they have one Pokemon. Rapidash, okay, this one's level 41. Yeah, so, it's a Rapidash. We haven't seen a Rapidash for a Pokedex, I don't think, so that's nice. We finally get to, nice. Okay, quit, quit, but it doesn't quite faint it, okay. Let's go for the, another Slash to faint it off. Faint it, yeah. There we go, we defeat Super Nerd, cool. Ow, thanks for 1,025 Poké Dollars. Okay, let's see. Blaine was lost in the mountains when a fiery bird Pokemon appeared. It light, its light enabled Blaine to find his way down. Are you talking about Moltres or something? I have a plus effect of Okay, cool. Uh, here's another quiz, I guess. Pokemon quiz. Test your skill. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Uh, are not identical? Yes, because, uh, yeah, it just depends, because it could vary, really, between the two, I guess. Going through, cool, we got it right, though. Let's talk to the trainer, though. I've been to many gyms, but this is my favorite. Cool. So this is another burglar. He has two Pokemon, I guess. Tabasco, nice. Let's go for the Slash attack. This Vulpix is level 37. Could we faint the Vulpix in one hit because it's critical hit? Awesome helped at least. I um, mean, yeah, and he sends out a growl. He's gonna send out a growl. Cool. Let's go for the slash attack. Scarlet's level 37 too, as long with, well, same with his uh, Vulpix, I guess. There we go, nice. We defeated Burglar. Yeah, I was uh, too hot. Thanks for 3,330 Poké Dollars. I think this might be the last trainer of the gym, I don't know. Pokemon quiz, test your skill. TM, TM28 contains Tomb Stoner. Tomb Stoner. No, it doesn't. TM28 contains Dig, so no. 
We got the right. You're absolutely correct. Going through. So if I only missed the first question, because the first question always gets me for some reason. Let's talk to the to the um trainer here. Fire is weak against H2O, which is uh H2O is another name for water, I guess you could say. But H2O is like the scientific f name for water, I guess you could say. Yeah, Super Nerd wants to fight. She, uh, they have two Pokemon. Cool. One's a Growth, level 37. Um, how am I doing? How's Tabasco doing on Slashes? He's still 13. That's good. Nice. Awesome. Critical and nice. We'll take it. Wolf Picks. Okay. We'll stay in. Let's go for the Slash on the Wolf Picks. Nice. And it when it kills, awesome, because maybe help for them could have quit may have done it, you know? Tabasco good level 49, awesome. We defeat Super Nerd, awesome. Oh, snuffed out. Sorry, man. Thanks for the 925 Poke Dollars, though. Is there one more trainer or is that Blaine? Okay, there's Blaine right there. He looks like he has glasses on, really. Well, Blaine does have glasses on in the anime and stuff. Well, no, probably not in the anime, because I remember him seeing not wearing glasses, but like in the Fire and Leaf Green, he wears glasses, too. And it's bright. So I'm gonna go back and heal quick. Also gonna, I'm gonna also put Gamma up to the front. I'm not gonna put Grumpy up to the front, even though he's still over 48. Um, because Grumpy is weak against fire type Pokemon, so yeah, let's put Gamma up to the front. So I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon side and heal up, so I'll see you guys in a second. I'll be right back, I should say. Okay, here we are back. So let's talk to Blaine. I uh, just making sure I have Gamma up front. I do? Cool, let's talk to Blaine. Ha! Uh, I am Blaine. I am the leader of Cinnabar Gym. Uh, my fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Ha! Huh, you better have burn heal. Blaine is my favorite gym leader of all time, just because of that one line. He's like, ha! Huh, you better have burn heal. So yeah, he does. He has glasses and a sprite, so yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so yeah, he went sent out nine tails. It is level 48. Jeez, okay. We're just one level higher than it. Let's go for the surf attack, see how much it does. It might put in the reds and it might heal, but I just, I just want to see how much it does. Uh, probably not the best way of going about it, if I could... Because he might heal if it's going down in the red health. Yeah, like that. So, uh, almost KO is it. Let's go for the strength. He's not going to heal. Wow, okay. I thought I was going to heal there. Okay, yeah. Blaine is about to use Rapidash. He has three Pokemon. One's a nine tells us you saw. One's a Rapidash. I think the last one's a, a K9, actually. So I'm not going to switch out. Uh, Rapidash is level 50. Awesome. Let's go for the, um, Bubble Beam. Let's see how much it does. Oh, uh, Gamer's Attack Mist, of course. It's gonna stomp on us. Okay, fine. This bubble beam hits the time. Nice. Let's see how much it does. It does a little bit of half. Okay, let's use bubble beam again then. Ooh, fire spin. That's gonna keep on. That's a move that keeps on continuing. Just like wrap and bind and, uh, you know, wrap and bind and fire spin all them moves. Dang it. Okay. Well, at least it's not very effective. But it's still annoying how it continues and continues and continues. Yeah. It's gonna take a long time for Fire Spin to defeat Gamera because if it's only doing four hit points every turn, every time, you know. And then there we go. It finally stops. So it's just bubbling to faint it. Yes. Nice. Okay, so he's about to use Arcanine. Let's stay in. Let's go for an epic blast blastware sweep. <laughs> Let's go with the strength. This Arcanine's level 54 though. Jeez. Uh, critical. Nice. Okay. Fire blast. Okay. Let's go for the ice beam just so we can do a little bit more before you surf. That's my plan. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's get his flamethrower on us now. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's not very effective though, so that's good. Let's go for the surf to finish it off, hopefully. Yeah. So Arcanine's a tough cookie to crack if you don't have a water type Pokemon, really. Or a ground type Pokemon, or something like that, rock type Pokemon. But I do, so we didn't struggle too much, so that's good. Uh, we defeated Blaine, awesome. I have burnt out. Uh, you have earned the Volcano Badge. Thanks for 5,346 Poké Dollars, man. Ha! Huh. Uh, the Volcano Badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokémon. Here, you can have this too, which is the TM for Fire Blast, I believe. TM38, yeah, there we go. TM38 contains Fire Blast. Teach it to Fire-type Pokémon. Charmeleon or Rapidash would be good bets. Okay, what about Charizard? <laughs> Let's, uh, use, uh... Yeah, use it on Charizard. My Tabasco. Teach you five bucks to Pokemon. Uh, Lavender can also learn it, but I want to teach you to put Tabasco. Tabasco's trying to learn Fire Blast, but it can't learn more, can't learn more than four moves. Do we an older move to make room for Fire Blast? Yes. Which move should be forgotten? Let's go to Ember. One, two, and poof. Tabasco fought Ember, forgot Ember, and Tabasco learned Fire Blast. Nice. 
Also, yeah, let's go back to the front of the gym. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Pokemon Center and heal after I get out of the gym. And also, I'm gonna deposit uh, my, this um, secret key into my PC because we don't need any more actually after this because we already beat the gym and stuff. So, yeah. So, let's make our way back to the front of the gym. It's a little bit of a walk, but it's all worth it, you know? It's pretty straightforward. Okay, I had to get, I had to take care of something. That's why there was a cut there. Um, yeah, let's talk to the vice keeper though again. Steven, you beat the fire brand. That fire brand. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's take the statue again. Cinnabar, Owen, Pokemon Gym, Waiter, Wayne. Winning trainer is Sean, Steven. Cool. And now, uh, if you were playing Fire on the screen, right when you got out of the gym after you beat it, Bill would come up to you and offer you offer to invite you to over to the Savai Islands. But since this is first generation and not third generation, uh, he's not here, and <laughs> the Savai Islands don't really exist yet. Um, so yeah, because this game came out way before Fire on the screen. I think Fire on the screen came out in like 2004. This game came out in like 1997, 1998. I could be totally wrong, but I think it was the late 90s that this game came out. It came out like a year after Red and Blue, probably. But I could be totally wrong about that. So again, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the um secret key in my PC, and then I'm also gonna heal my Pokemon. So I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so next we're going to fly to uh, fly to um. Well, I'll put Brit up front. We're gonna fly to back to Viridian City and take on the Viridian Gym because we have that's where our eighth gym badge is. That's where, that's where we can get our eighth gym badge. I should say that's where we can get our eighth gym badge. So Pallet Town, Viridian City. There we go. So I'll also show off the badge for the volcano badge right here. So yeah, if we go to our little information, yeah, it's number seven right there. It looks like a flame kind of thing. It looks really cool, actually. Um, yeah. So it's just that we have seven gym badges out of eight now, which is pretty cool. And if you see the number eight gym badge is like a question mark. Hmm. We don't know what the badge will cause like or who the gym leader is. That's interesting. Uh, our name is Steven, of course. We got 147,208 pocket hours right now. Our play time is 102 hours and three minutes. We have seven of the eight gym badges, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, to make our way back to the gym, we have Boot Root up front, by the way, because it's a ground type gym, actually. So yeah, um, here it is, um, Viridian Pokemon City Pokemon Gym. That's all it says. Okay, that's all the sign says at least. So, but here's the gym. Let's talk to you, I guess. Uh, Viridian Gym's leader returned. Awesome. So yeah, so in the next part we're gonna take on the Viridian City Pokemon Gym and that's all we're gonna really do. We're gonna find out who the 8th and final Gym Badge is, cause Gym Badge, Gym Leader is. <laughs> and what the Gym Badge looks like I guess, cause it's still a mystery apparently. But uh, if you've played this game before you know what it is, who it is, and what the Gym Badge looks like, so... I don't know, this game... This game is probably like um... 19 or 20 years old, because uh, I'm 20 years old and I was born in 97, uh, January 15th of 1997, so two weeks after the new year, so two weeks after the new year, so uh, I was born in early, very early, um, 90, 1997, which is pretty cool, so this, this game is probably older, old, I think this game is might be my age or older actually, so yeah, I don't know, but yeah. So yes, this has been Giant Go again. I would like to thank you goodbye and I hope to see you guys explore my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough guide.